Welcome back to the Daily Drift. Today, I'm going to be changing a nut, but not just any nut. This is an oil pump nut. I didn't even know, but these things have a tendency to fly off. Somebody told me that in the comments section. I looked it up, and then the anxiety took over. So I bought one of these. And this little piece here, supposedly is going to fix all of our problems and prevent it from flying off. Let's see what happens. We know we're shit. Yeah. Thanks for watching The Daily Drift. Okay, so this is the piece. That's the part number. It's literally just a nut that they sell. Um, you can get it from a couple different sites. Now you could do this yourself. I didn't feel like risking it. It's reverse threaded, and I wanna make sure that I get this thing on here properly. So we're gonna get to it. First thing is we're gonna take the old nut off of the old pump, and we're just gonna go from there. So looking at the front of the engine, you can see this is the oil pump nut. This little sucker right here is the one that's prone to flying off. And as you can tell, it's literally just tightened on there. Problem is, with enough vibration, this little sucker will come right off. Okay, so this may not be the uh, best way or most efficient way, but it works. And it pops right off. So, uh, when in doubt, impact it out. So today's been a pretty good day so far. I don't know what it is, but you know, sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days. And today's been a pretty good day so far. Hopefully we'll make it better by actually making some progress on this car. But uh, all I'm doing is just undoing the safety wire so that way we can run it through this, this nut, as they say. So if you look through there, you can see that the nut is literally just got a hole drilled through it up at the top. And all I'm going to do is just run this string through there. Um, so it's going to look something like this. So you can see it's just going to hang on there. Um, I'm gonna do that after I get the, the nut torqued on there. Okay, okay, so I know I'm probably gonna get roasted for this, but before I put the nut on, I'm gonna use some Loctite. I know it's not the red stuff, it's all I have. We're just gonna put it on there for a little extra assurance. This cable's gonna hold the nut on. This is just to make me feel better, I guess, which maybe it will make me feel better until I read the comments and then I'll feel a little worse, but it's okay, we're used to it. We're completely used to it by now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this nut and put it on there. Remember, it's reverse thread. So this one lefty is tidy and righty is loosey. It's kind of backwards, but you know, it'll work. Now I'm gonna get the torque wrench. So the next thing is the torque wrench. Now normally I would just use my clicker wrench, but the problem is this is going reverse. Most clicker torque wrenches don't work that way, so we're gonna go old school. I know it's cheap, it's kind of a crappy torque wrench, but this way we're not going to risk over torquing it. It's supposed to be 17 foot pounds, so let's get it. So loosening this thing's easy using an impact, but you don't want to zip it on with an impact. So what I did is I put the nut in here so I could hold this. It's going to hold it tight, so as I loosen this would hold it tight. Pretty simple, it's not too difficult. So now all I got to do is get that safety wire in. Get it nice and tied up and then we should be good to go so let's put this thing on so basically all i do here is i work the string through the hole and then i take some pliers to kind of twist it in the shape problem is i twist it a little too much and i managed to break it well just like most things i managed to break the wire so now i need to go get a new safety wire and then hopefully then i can get this thing fixed so we'll see if i can get to the store before it closes all right guys so i managed to get some thread locker uh, the red stuff because when I went to the store to buy the new cable um, I decided I'd just get the right stuff since I was there Problem was I couldn't find a cable so I'm gonna have to improvise with something to keep this thing safety wired on here I don't trust the one that just basically bent and broke so I'm gonna come up with something, but we'll see so all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use this uh, the red Loctite. I'm just gonna put a couple in these threads and Then I'm gonna put a couple on here and just tighten it down, torque it to spec. And that should be good. All right, so I know this was kind of quick and dirty, but uh, we got it on there. It looks good, it looks like it's gonna do its job. Um, and hopefully this nut will prevent this thing from flying off along with that red Loctite. It's just like a little extra insurance. I wasn't even worried about it until I found out about it. But thank you to whoever told me on Instagram. I'll have to look it up and Put it like here, 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 somewhere. We'll we'll put it right here. How about that? Um, so thank you for letting me know and 
caused me a lot of anxiety, but at least now it's solved and it's one less thing I have to worry about. I really do appreciate it though. So if any of you are trying to do this, this is how you do it, I think. And uh, yeah, so I hope you all have a great day. Just remember, keep it nice and easy. So guys, if you haven't guessed already, we're making custom tools. I know, it, it looks like crap, but trust me, it works. It, it really works.